Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number one on queries. So this series or playlist is especially for the queries which I have received from different people and few queries I responded uh, by saying what could be the answer or solution and a few things anyway I have to uh, double confirm from my end and then I have to respond it. So I thought uh, if anyway I'm going to prepare or I'm going to uh, check something in the system so why can't we just create a small video that could be helpful for other people as well if they get a same query in future. So that is the idea of starting this uh, playlist. Uh, it could be useful I believe. So let's see and this is going to be it's going to be added in the uh, short video playlist. Anyway, I have a short video for each stream, CDS, ABAP, or Odata service. So I'm going to change, uh, rename the playlist as short videos and queries. So the relevant queries, uh, the stream level query is going to be saved in that playlist one. Okay. And this playlist, uh, sorry, this video is for CDS. So CDS, I got a query like how to join a CDS which has input parameters. Okay. So let's get into the slide quickly. So I have a CDS which has an input parameter. Yeah, yeah. Input parameter. So how can I create, a, how can I access the CDS while doing a join condition? So that is the query which I have received. So I, I plan to have, let's see, for inner join and uh, left or right outer join and association. So how we can utilize or how you can proceed for a CDS which has input parameters with these joining options. So first we'll see the syntax for each join, then we'll go to the uh, association and what are the pros and cons and I'll show the same in the system as well. So first one, if it is an inner join, what you have to do is, so inner join, this is like the uh, entity. So before this, you have you have an option called select from and your table name or a view name, whatever it is, and then inner join. So inner join with my first CDS, which has an input parameter. So the syntax would be inner join and your CDS name within bracket parenthesis your input name over here, uh, input name means input parameter name. So my input parameter name could be p underscore vb type. So I have to use the same over here, p underscore vb type colon. So that is no equal operator. You have to use it here. You have to use a colon. And then uh, the constant value or you may have uh, one more input parameter in your CDS because okay? so we have two CDS, right? So one is the source and one is where we are accessing the source. So you may have input parameter for that. You can use that also, either a hard-coded value or dynamic. dynamically you can pass the value to your CDS input parameter. Okay, and then on join condition is it's common. So join condition between CDS1 and CDS2. And same thing for left out of join as well. The same way you have to use left out of join, the rest of this format is same. Again, CDS1 input parameter value colon hard coded or dynamic value. Same thing for route, uh, sorry, right out of join as well. And if you go to the association, association you are not able to call a CDS which has an input parameter. Okay, so what you can do is you can just change the design. It's not, if it is not, then you can, you have an option to change the design to achieve whatever is required. So, how we can do is Association one to one to CDS. Then, if you try to do this, you will get a syntax error. If you miss, also you will get a syntax error saying this CDS one has a input par mandatory input parameter. Okay, so for that, what you can do is so select from CDS one. Okay, I just change the position of my CDS from the CDS one input parameter. Then association with whatever you want. Okay, here my uh, query is from sales order header and item. So I just change this header to series one and then VBAP. Here there is one question. Suppose my uh, requirement or design would be I want the series to be only in the association, not in the base one, then it's not possible. Okay. So here I changed because my scenario works for it. Depends on your scenario. If you feel your series one should be in association only, then it's not possible. 
unless if you have to keep your input parameter as username or client number date so those things we are able to pass some default values and in input parameters other than that if you have uh, like vb type or some other database fields then currently it's not possible okay so this design is based on your requirement so this is a way where you can try to keep your cds which has an input parameter for the association concept got it so these are the way where we can able to do what i quickly run through a syntax check and the code in your in the eclipse as well so that will be easy to understand for you so now let me take you to the system so this is my CDS view one source CDS. I have created it very simple, uh, which has a CDS entity, which has input parameters and uh, uh, some fields I'm getting it and VB type equal to whatever value I'm passing here dynamically. So if you execute it and it will ask what is the value and put C, yes, I have everything as C only this time. Values you only C is getting. Now I have to write a code for this. So let me create one more data definition. CTI uh, sales item sales item details. Next uh, with parameters, okay. Finish. So I'll show you in hard coded as well as the input parameters. So let me go with hard coded first. So sales item and uh, the source is VBAP and in a join on my series V1 uh, name is CJI sales. Open parameters. And here I can say, okay, uh, here you can say control space bar. Actually, I'm also expecting it should, it should come my parameter, input parameters one. So, no, it's not giving. Okay, so now what I'll do is enter the value pv, pv, typ, colon, and I go with c. And you can proceed with joins. So if you want a lines names also, yes, you can proceed with the lines name here, item, and this is header. So on item dot vbeln equal to header dot vbeln. That's it. Oh, do that. Okay, I do not have everything. So I want to a few fees here. So key header dot villain and need VBLP. Matner probably I need to see That's it. Back to it. I think it's Postner. One second. Item dot. Yes. I have only this confusion between the sales and purchase. Okay, it's Postner and Sales. Okay, act to work at. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this one. Okay, I got it. CGI Sales item. Is all fine? Yes. Oh, no red mark. Act to work at. Now I just used a hard coded option. It's trying to activate. Yes, it's activated successfully and executed. Application. Okay. So it gives all the values which order like VB type order type is C. Okay.
So if you want to give something like dynamic like this, so here also you can give the same thing. So parameter, so p underscore sales type, and here you can say it's vb type. Okay, and then you have to use it here. So here uh, you might aware right. If you're going to use any variables, so you need the colon as a supporting uh, operator. So colon and whatever value you are using in your parameter P. Uh, back to audit. And then execute. So probably I need to find out what other fields are. Like, give me a minute. So these are the values which is not equal to C, A, B and everything. It's okay try with the different values here I'll execute it and go with B Enter. yes so I have the values only with B so it's simple same thing you have to go with uh, left outer join because this syntax is same so you can change this to left outer join right outer join and whatever uh, scenario whatever design you want you just proceed with that Execute and so the output could differ because if you use left out to join, whatever is match, it gets otherwise it will get a uh, empty records over there. So let me execute and I'll go with B enter. So I don't have B at all. Okay, so yes, I have a B. Yes, only B is 44 and remaining are empty because it's a left outer join. It just take the records which doesn't have the B's as well. Okay, because the condition is based on the sales order number. So this is about left and right, right outer join. If you want to provide as an association, um, let me have it quickly association um, one two star two z <clears throat> so this is uh, syntactically is not correct so let me take out this then you'll get another syntax error okay save it mm, as header okay it's gone Okay, so here it shows uh, requires parameter. So entity Z sales requires parameter P underscore VB type. So that is the reason I mentioned if you require, if you are passable, depends on your scenario, you might change this. Sales. So here you can use VB type. As, uh, here it's, I do hard code drive. So as header. And here you can change the association to the other table item. Item, okay, this is an association, so I don't want to use this one. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So, but here I use the association. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise, you so don't use the association field as well, so if required, okay. So this is a way you are able to use an association. But here if you see its design is getting changed, then probably you are not able to use uh, directly the CDS which has an input parameter in the association level. So clear? Suppose we need to have more than one parameter, then just use a separate operator comma, then you can have whatever parameter you want. So quickly let me add it in my source CDS. So let me have A U A R T. A, A U A R T. That's one of the input parameter in my source. And A U A R T equal P underscore A U A R T. Okay. And here uh, if there is any design change, uh, then you have to activate both or more than one CDS at the same time because it's already have been used to the ZJ underscore sales in my one of the CDS. 
you try to act to it it shows this already used you are not able to act to it so let me go here and let me have the second parameter and we'll go with a hard coded value for this and maybe for this i have a parameter dynamic one so let me use that one okay okay so that's it save it So here is a button for activate an individual object and here is for multiple objects. So select this option and say OK. Then you will get one more pop up. It shows very clearly what uh, with checkboxes. What are the things you want to activate together? I want to activate these two CDS views. Activate it. It's getting activate uh, both the CDS view. And once it is activate, let me execute the second CDS. And here I used a dynamic value for the first one and this is for hard coder. So this is the same for inner join, outer join, the syntax I'm talking about. Okay, separated by comma. It's activated successfully and execute. So let me have my order type as I. And okay, yeah, it's only the two records is coming from the database table. So this is the way where you are able to uh, have your CDS with input parameter. So same thing you are able to do with inner join, left out join and association also. Okay. So hope this might be useful whenever you have a doubt on this particular query. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video.